Hi, I'm Stacy Stagar, Industry Specialist with the Alaska Small Business Development Center. Welcome to the opening a janitorial service business in Alaska. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you about the Alaska Small Business Development Center. The Alaska SBDC has been operating since 1986, and we have offices throughout the state of Alaska to serve for-profit small businesses. The way our structure works is we receive a federal grant from the Small Business Administration, along with a grant from the state of Alaska. We're also part of the Business Enterprise Institute through the University of Alaska Anchorage, and we're employees of the university. The Alaska SBDC provides three primary services, which are the same three services you'd expect to find at any other SBDC in the country. And they include free, confidential, one-on-one -on -one business advising, small business workshops, and small business tools and referrals. To learn more about us or to register to become a client, please visit our website at www.aksbdc.org. Let's get started. Did you know that janitorial companies employ over 2 million people in the United States? And as a small business, the cost to get them started can be pretty low. If you're providing basic services, you may only need cleaning supplies, mops, brooms, and a vacuum cleaner. If you're expanding your offerings, you may need to purchase additional supplies and equipment. But before opening your business, you'll need to spend some time getting your idea on paper. The Alaska Small Business Development Center is pleased to offer this helpful guide. Let's get started. Before you take any action, you're gonna to have to do some research. And the Alaska Small Business Development Center has several tools to help you research your idea. Please note that the green underlying text provides a direct link to information on the web through hyperlinks. So you need to check out the starting a business workshop, Ask yourself the 20 questions, and then decide, are you going to have a physical location outside of your primary residence? And if so, are you going to lease space, buy space, or build space? If your business will be in your home, be sure to check zoning covenants and neighborhood rules. But answering these questions will help determine how to move forward with your business. Next, research the costs and the Alaska SBDC has a tool to help you create financial projections and get started with basic bookkeeping. After you've done the research, you're ready to proceed. Your first priority is to get a business license or licenses. You will need a state of Alaska license and may need a borough or municipality and or a city license as well. You'll also need to have your NAICS code. I've put it down here on the slide, and the NAICS code for janitorial service is 561720. Be aware that if you're selling cleaning products or providing services outside of janitorial or cleaning, you may need to add additional NAICS codes to your business license. There's a link below that you can use to find additional codes. Some boroughs in the state of Alaska and some cities also require business licenses. So here's an example. My favorite janitorial service is based in Palmer and they have to have a state of Alaska business license, a Madaniska Susitna borough license, a city of Palmer license, and if they are doing business in Wasilla or Houston, they'd need to have licenses in those places as well. Next, you're going to need to look into purchasing insurance. You'll need to carry at a minimum a general liability and you should strongly consider a janitorial service bond. The service bond may protect your business from customer slips and falls, burglary and theft, costs for property damage claims against your business, medical expenses if someone gets injured at your company, advertising injury claims against your business, administrative costs to handle covered claims, court costs, judgments, and settlements for covered claims. Make sure you ask your insurance provider about additional coverage that may protect your tools and equipment, cover your company-owned vehicle, and protect business and or personal property. Commercial auto insurance will be necessary if you have a company-owned vehicle. And for more information on all of this, there's a link below for business insurance for small businesses 
workshop. The next area is workers' compensation. In addition to general insurance, companies who have employees must carry workers' comp insurance. If you don't carry it, your business could be responsible for any medical bills and legal fees. Employers in Alaska who fail to maintain workers' comp insurance for their employees will be subject to a variety of civil penalties, including penalties of up to $1,000 per employee per day in which they fail to provide workers' comp. Workers' compensation covers employees' medical expenses in the event that they are injured on the job. It can help replace lost wages. It may provide death benefits. It limits the probability of an employee lawsuit protects your business from lawsuits, and, as said earlier, it is required by state law. Next, you'll want to register for employment taxes by applying for an employer identification number with the IRS. There's a link below on the bottom of this page to, to apply for that, and your EIN acts as a business ID. It's also known as a federal tax ID or tax ID number. And you need this to open bank accounts, to hire employees, and to report all of your taxes. Remember, if you're a sole proprietor with no employees, you could use your social security number instead of an employer ID number. Operational setup. You want to arrange for business financing if that's needed. You can see the SBA loans and what lenders requires workshop, and also talk to an SBDC advisor to get advice and more information. You'll want to set up a business bank account and consider applying for a business credit card. Also, hire a bookkeeper or accountant if you don't want to fulfill those roles yourself. You can also purchase bookkeeping software such as QuickBooks. And the Alaska SBDC has a basic bookkeeping for entrepreneurs workshop to help you get started with that. Moving on to identifying vendors and suppliers. You can purchase janitorial supplies and cleaning products from lots of different sources. We have local distributors. You can find some online. They carry a wide variety of commercial-based products and supplies. There's always big box stores. You can purchase cleaning products in the store. They typically carry both commercial and home-based products and supplies. And of course, local retailers. Purchased in-store, these products and supplies are primarily home-based though. You might look for guidance from a trusted colleague with experience in purchasing these supplies for ideas on where to get them. You are not required to carry cleaning business bonding insurance in Alaska. However, it adds an extra layer of protection for you as a business owner. A janitorial service bond would insure your business from potential fraudulent acts committed by your employees. This may cover a loss due to employee theft or damages to a client's personal property. Many Private clients and business owners will only hire cleaning companies that are bonded and insured. A small janitorial and house cleaning business can easily be managed from your home. Benefits of in-home office include reduced expenses and tax benefits. But as the business grows, owners might find themselves getting easily distracted, mixing personal time with business time, and have difficulty balancing the needs of employees who are coming to their home for storage and supplies, and also interfering with personal privacy. Having a brick and mortar office gives you room to grow, business working boundaries, a dedicated workspace, and a professional work environment that provides you with space to meet with your clients. While you were researching whether or not you were going to pursue opening a janitorial business, you were asked to think about what your niche is. Who's my customer and what makes my service unique? Your niche market can be used to identify and develop your brand. Branding should start before opening your business and take into consideration when picking out design, decor, and fixtures to create a cohesive image. You might consider hiring a professional to develop your logo and branding kit for print and online uses. You could hire a branding specialist locally, or if that's not available or feasible, check out sites like Fiverr or Design Crowd. Once your logo or brand kit is complete and before opening, make a Facebook and Instagram account. And if social media is not your thing, consider hiring a professional to manage your social media marketing. Also, ask your business advisor for a referral list to find a qualified provider. You may want to build a website, and again, this can be hired out if you're not feeling comfortable with that. You'll want to order business and or appointment cards and order rack cards with a list of services and pricing. 
And as always, you can get help from the Alaska Small Business Development Center. So now you've done the research and still have some lingering questions, the Alaska SBDC provides resources, workshops, and no-cost business advice. Assistance is provided by experienced business advisors and experts through on-site and or online interactions or training and at no cost to clients. Register to work with the Alaska SBDC Business Advisor by clicking here. Last, there's some resources on this page that might be helpful for you to find additional information. There's information on insurance, a green cleaning certification, the meaning of getting bonded, growing your cleaning company, and information on workers' comp and the janitorial service bond. Thank you so much for joining us on this webinar. If you have additional questions, please be sure and check with your SBDC business advisor.